Ladies and gentlemen, in today's video, we're going to be going over how much money you're going to need for this latest new GTA Online Clucking Bell for Raid. That is right. We have a new DLC that is literally coming out tomorrow. Literally less than... It's like 12, 13 hours. We'll be going over that here in a second when it's releasing. We might have way more information coming up, but usually the day before a DLC releases, they don't give us like the typical weekly update video like we I would usually make for you because they like to surprise us with a new update that's coming out. If there is any information within the next hour after this video going live, I will share with you everything that is coming that is new all of the vehicles all of the businesses if any all of the weapons all of that stuff if they do have one it'll be out within an hour or two from this video going live make sure you subscribe with notifications on for that but in this video as i've done in the past multiple times when there's a new dlc we're going to be going over the prices and how much money you will need if you want to purchase everything on day one of the clucking bell farm raid now this one's different than typical because typically i say 20 million is like the base right if there's a new dlc that comes out a new update 20 million is usually the cost it'll get you all the vehicles all the drip feed vehicles that are coming out it'll get you the new business the new outfits all of that stuff but for this one it's technically part of the drip feed from the chop chop dlc but for some reason, instead of making it like drip feed, other than the phone call we got from Vincent, they've made this one with this picture, the Cluckin Bell Farm Raid. They've really made this one out to be like it's its own separate DLC and not drip feed, which we know isn't really the case. We know it's drip feed, but maybe the reason they're hyping this up so much is because it's going to be awesome. <laughs> We already know the payout for this is going to be 500,000. So that means during weekly updates like we usually get, you're going to get double pay. So there is going to be some times this year that we're going to get a million dollar payout for this raid. So it'll be interesting to see exactly how difficult it's going to be. And I will have a full video on this raid coming up in probably less than 24, less than 24 for sure, less than 12 hours most likely because as soon as this update goes live i will be making a bunch of videos on it because i'm very excited and really quick before we get into the rest of this video let's take a look at this right here this is the global rollout it's going to be very similar to all of them so this is one that i just put together based off of the times for the last one it'll be exactly the same but as you can see 2 a.m if you're on the west coast of the united states 5 a.m on the east coast the uk is going to be 10 a.m and if you are in a good old australia it's going to be 7 p.m now, keep in mind, this could be a little earlier or it could be a little later, depending on how big this is. But typically, the weekly updates come out at around 1 a.m. Pacific Standard. So when there's a DLC like this, it's usually an hour later. So 2 a.m. is right on the money. And it's not that big of an update, let's be honest. It's not a massive DLC. So it's not really going to be much more past that. So this is it anyway. Feel free to screenshot this so you know when it's going live. But anyway, like I was saying, it's different in the sense that a lot of these vehicles we already know are coming. We've been talking about it as part of the Chop Shop DLC. So we kind of already know what's coming. Not looking like we're getting a business. The Cluckin' Bell Farm raid itself is obviously the Cluckin' Bell headquarters up north. And then to start the missions, if you haven't seen my video, I'll leave it linked at the end of this one and in the description if you want to see all the information on this. Even though it's coming in literally like 12 hours. If you're excited like I am, I'll leave that there. But the mission itself to like start these missions, you have to go to the police headquarters and talk to Vincent. And from there, you can see there's almost like a drop down of missions. There's like five or six missions that you can do. There's the setup and then like four more setup missions and then the finale. Typically with new businesses, you need to purchase the new business and then you start doing the missions and things from within that business. Whereas this one, it is a raid, but it's through Vincent and the police station. So we're not having to purchase a business for this one, which is kind of cool, kind of unique. Not sure how it's going to go. But Rockstar did say we are going to be fighting the corrupt police department and this new cartel that is inside of this cooking bell factory. So it's a new cartel and we're fighting the cops. The two enemies. Anyway, there's been some speculation about outfits. We'll find out more of this in a couple hours from this video. Like I say, I'll have all more information for you. But some people have said that maybe more police outfits and things because we've all been wanting police outfits for a while, especially since we've got all of the police cars now, including like the regular cruiser. We have the riot van. We have the unmarked police car. And now we're going to have this new gauntlet interceptor. So we're going to have all of the police vehicles. It would make sense for them to give us a police outfit as well. Is that going to be something we unlock and can purchase or do we get it for free? Who knows? But let's just say as far as clothing and as far as tattoos and all of that miscellaneous stuff, let's just throw 100k into here for this, which is going to be more than you probably need for this sort of stuff. 
but we'll say 100k nonetheless. All right, now let's move on to this beauty right here, the Gauntlet Interceptor Hellfire. Now, a lot of people already own this in-game. They People found out how a ways to get it, and then they glitched in, and I don't know, okay? And then they'd go to the LS car meet and buy cars from each other. So some people already have this, but if you're doing it legitimately, so this vehicle is going to be a 5.4 million and 20,000. So 5,420. That is a big cost, a very expensive vehicle. I mean, the fact that it's only like a couple million, maybe 3 million less, less than 3 million less than a, a bloody oppressor mark. This is overpriced. Okay. This is incredibly overpriced vehicle. Um, but you can get it for a little bit cheaper. There is a trade price of $4,065,000. As you can see right here, it goes from $4,065,000 to 5420 So the trade price you're going to be able to unlock once you've completed the Cluckin Bell raid finale. So once you've completed the finale, you'll unlock the trade price for this. But assuming not everyone's going to do the finale, even though I think everyone will, we'll just go with the full price of this vehicle um here today so we already have a hundred thousand now let's add on another five million four hundred and twenty all right let's move on next up part of the chop shop update as you can see right here is the benson clucking bell van now this is going to be a vehicle that is inside of this raid or at least in the setup missions we're going to be doing disruption as you can see right here there's somebody inside taking out like the brake fluid lines or transmission or something like that i don't know what it bloody is basically doing disruption missions like we do for other things every heist or raid has disruption missions and this one's no different. But anyway, this vehicle is another one that is available upon completion. And it also has a trade price. So if you wanted to just buy it as soon as this update goes live, it's going to be $685,000. So not too much, but you know, 685. I don't know why anyone's going to want this, to be honest with you. But there is people out there with millions. They just want to collect everything. But there is a trade price of $513,750. And I assume this is going to be from the Cluck and Bell heist, obviously. But to get this, I'm assuming it's not just complete it, but complete it stealthily. Because the mission where you have to like snap the brake lines or whatever that is inside of there, that is probably part of the stealth option. Like as you guys know, if you've seen my videos again, I'll leave a link to the end and in the description so you can go check it out so you know what I'm talking about. But you can have multiple choices. You can do it aggressive. You can do it stealthy. And there's going to be like easy, medium and hard as well for armor. You can choose light armor going all the way to heavy armor, weapons. It'll be easy weapons to heavy weapons. A car, it'll be easy car to like an armored car. You can have multiple choices on how you complete this heist. And I think that this, the 513, 750,000 for the trade price, you'll probably unlock from doing the stealth mission. But that's just my guess. We'll find out more in a little bit. And then last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, for vehicles that we still haven't gotten from the Chop Shop DLC, but now is now part of this new Cluckin' Bell Raid DLC, is the Canis Terminus. Now this thing, beautiful car. I think it's, well, it's obviously based off of the Jeep Wrangler, but I'm guessing the 392? Not sure. It does have the hood scoop on it. It's like the uh, the 392 in real life, which is the V8 Jeep Wrangler. Um, really cool car. But either way, no one cares about that. It's really sick anyway. But we do have the price for this as well. It doesn't look like there's going to be a trade price for this one. But the price for this is going to be 1.8 million 77,000 500. If you've been doing the math at home, that comes out to 8 million, just over 8 million, around 8 million 100,000. And that includes obviously the 100,000 that I put in for just miscellaneous, whether it's tattoos or outfits or things like that. But there is no businesses that we know of so far. And I'm pretty sure it would have been leaked if there was something that we could purchase with inside of this DLC. But again, I will be making a video in a couple hours from this one going live. So if there's any more information about this new DLC coming tomorrow, It'll be up in a couple hours. Make sure you subscribe with notifications on for that. But anyway, that is it, ladies and gentlemen. For If you wanted to know how much this DLC is going to cost, around $8 million if you want to buy everything on day one. And that is saying that everything is available day one. We don't even know if the new Terminus, the new Jeep Wrangler is going to be here right away. It would probably make sense for them to drip feed that out to maybe next week. Since we do have the Interceptor and the Clucking Bell van come in and the new heist or raid. You know, maybe they're not going to want to throw in this new Wrangler as well. But we'll be finding out here, as I've been saying, in a couple hours. 
But either way, 8 million, you're going to be solid for the first day of this release. And in all honesty, you're probably only going to need 6 million. Let's be honest. The, the, the Canis Terminus probably isn't going to be here right away. So around 6 million, I feel like you will be solid for this new DLC releasing in like 13, 14 hours. Again, here it is on the screen for the time zones. It could be an hour earlier than this, but some usually with DLCs, they it does take a little bit longer. So it's usually an hour later than normal. But that is all the information. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please consider hitting the like button, subscribe if you you're new and you want to see all these videos and leaks and updates and turn on notifications so you know when i upload them sorry i'm red today i did get sunburned but anyway i hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day and i'll see you later on today with a brand new video goodbye